Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble met with key officials Sunday as the nation's political crisis continues. Talks between Roble and President Mohamed Farmajo to end the dispute are reportedly at an impasse. Galmadug officials said they have given up on mediating the conflict. State President Ahmed Korkor was seen as someone with close ties to both leaders who might help find a compromise. Issues said to be sticking points include the investigation into the disappearance of intelligence agent Ikram Talil, Robles' appointment of a new security minister, leadership of the National Intelligence and Security Agency. Formaggio has issued an order stripping Roble of authority in most government matters. Roble's Sunday meeting again demonstrated the Prime Minister's defiance of the President's directive. During the consultation, Roble and the officials reportedly discussed the legislative balloting for Somaliland seats in the upper house of the National Assembly. Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Gouled, who has been central in trying to arrange the polls, was present. Voting should start this week. <laughs> Chairman of the Northern Region's Electoral Commission of Somaliland, Kadar Harir Hussein, indicated that the process is on target. <laughs> Security was also on the agenda. Fighting against al-Shabaab has been fierce in the center of the country lately. Protecting the elections will become more of a focal point as voting on the lower house is due to start. And tensions between Roble and Formaggio has many asking who is in charge of the country's security forces. Somali Police Commissioner General Abdi Hassan Mohammed Hajar had reassuring words after the meeting. Finance Minister Abdi Rahman Bele was present at the Sunday meeting. He was reportedly unhappy with some of Roble's instructions on asking for approval before releasing spending. But his appearance at the consultation would appear to signal their relationship has been mended. ADN TV will continue to report on Somalia's political crisis.